Now, KLBK Sports with Matt Roberts. And hey welcome back. Well, the Red Raiders had three players draft off the roster in this year's Major League Baseball first year player draft. Today, they have all signed contracts with their respective clubs, with Trey Mossick inking his deal with the Cubs earlier today. Mossick taken in the fifth round by Chicago, the second righty off the board for the Cubbies in this year's draft. Mossick will now report to short season A ball in Boise or be playing in the Arizona Rookie League, officially closing the books on a great career here at Texas Tech. When he was really good, I mean, it we had a comparison to Tim Hudson there at one point during the year. Just really, really good fastball command and could throw, you know, the breaking ball and the change up most of the time in any count. And, but really what stood out more than anything was just his competitiveness and uh, his just desire to win the game. At the end of the year, uh, we definitely realized how instrumental he was looking back on the series that we didn't have him, how it affected those series. And I uh, was definitely a leader amongst all of our pitchers. Now to the NBA, where it's been six years since the Spurs were able to hoist the Larry O'Brien Trophy after winning their fourth title in eight years by beating LeBron and a bunch of other guys wearing Cleveland Cavalier jerseys back in 2007. But it's been six long years, and most people had given up on seeing the Spurs ever raise another championship banner at the AT&T Center. But that could all change tonight with the win against LeBron once again. This time, he brought friends, and the Spurs know that this game is going to be as tough as they come. They always have pop there to keep things in perspective. Nice we know what they're going to do. I'm sure everybody in the world knows how they come out after a loss and how aggressive they are. We just got to try to do our best to, to match that energy and take care of the ball and do what we've been doing to stay successful. Ball movement is key and uh, take care of the ball. And our uh, first game we had four turnovers. That's what we need to try to keep it under 10 uh, to have a chance to win. If we have more than 10 turnovers, that's going to be tough against them. This is just another game you go play. Obviously, you know, it's important. Everybody's excited, but just go play the game. Now over to the other side of the coin, though. The Miami Heat will be looking for their second title in a row in three consecutive trips to the NBA Finals. And after the pressure was thought to be lifted by bringing home the title last year, it's squarely back on their shoulders, mostly because LeBron started counting titles at the first ever preseason championship pep rally. But regardless, the Heat have not lost two playoff games in a row all season and usually respond with a double-digit beatdown. So the Heat will be ready to jump it up tonight at 8 o'clock. They're going through the same thing after one of their losses, so it's it's about competition. You have to you have to embrace it. embrace uh, an equal uh, opponent. They're not going to give it to us. We expect this to be hard, <laughs> and, and we're not giving it to them. And so, who can consistently play their game without any distractions has the best chance to win. It takes mental collective fortitude to be able to do it. We've proven we can, uh, and now we just need to show that tonight. That game tipping tonight at 8 o'clock. The Dallas Cowboys have now wrapped up mini camps and will now have some time to get away before opening up training camp on July 21st as they start the preseason in the Hall of Fame game on August 4th. Cowboys trying to get back to the playoffs for the first time since 2010. While there have been a few shakeups at Valley Ranch this offseason, from new, a new defensive coordinator to Jason Garrett being relieved of his play calling duties. But the biggest difference might just be getting some of those injured players back from last season, which bodes well going into training camp. I can't tell you how well he's been. In the toe feels great. The ligaments are strong, as strong as it can be. Um, you know, I need to be out on the football field. I know I need to be out there playing. I want more than anything to be out there helping our team win, playing in the playoffs and playing in the Super Bowl. So for me, I've been putting work, everything I can do to stay healthy. I'm trying to control that. You know, at some, you know, football, you never know what can happen, but I'm going to control what I can control and try to keep myself on the field. After missing, you know, a couple of days, I'm, I definitely feel like I'm, I'm back where I need to be. You know, but like I said, it's still early, and um, I'm excited to, you know, continue to work hard and uh, get to train. Camp. Quick bit of Lady Raider news here as well. Demetria Buchanan joins Kenny Whitaker's coaching staff coming from Stephen F. Austin where she was assistant and played collegiately as te at Texas A&M where she was an All-Big 12 performer. So, no. Well, we won't hold that against her being no. an Aggie. We're, we, we're getting them all. We're bringing Cliff back from A&M. We're bringing everybody. We're rescuing them all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Bringing them back. Matt, thanks very much. Thanks, Appreciate Matt. that. All right, coming up.